All right, welcome to the cardboard beatdown. Uh, here with uh, Ogar and the dude. I'm Ogar. I'm gonna be playing some Viscerai. And I'm the dude. I'm gonna be playing uh, Reinar. And uh, enjoy the show. Sit back and watch us beat each other up on the cardboard beatdown. <laughs> All right, two uh, d six. Yeah. I got eight. Okay. Oh. Got a five and a six. All right, your call. I will go first. Like I'm going to get smacked. Well, combat, we'll take tunic to one. And then what we'll do here is... Awakening Bellow, yellow. Uh, we'll pay for that pitching Wrecker Rump. And then uh, next Brute Action card, we get plus two Intimidate. Go again. That's we an have... Intimidate trigger. Intimidate trigger, yeah. We have two float. Um, what we'll do is we'll pick the second from the left. All right. That one, yeah. And then what we'll do with our two resources, we'll come in for a Savage Wing Red uh, as additional cost to play Savage Wing. Uh, discard a random card, so discard this one in my hand. We have one resource float coming in for nine. Nine. Master reaction? Uh, no reactions. Okay. okay. Boost a rune chant, pitching a red to pay for it. Get a rune chant. Mm -hmm. Block four. Okay. Okay. And then I'll, uh, this will resolve. And then I'm going to bury this one. And then I'm going to draw. Go ahead. Do as well. See, so probably play come the arc right mm -hmm. discard a non-attack action so I can start attack action mm -hmm. Yellow. 
then um A Rune Flash toss is reduced by the number of rune chance I control. Mm -hmm. Blue floating one. That means that I'll create a rune chant and one rune chant pop with it. So it's coming in for three physical, one arcane go. Block for three. Take the one arcane. Go to 39. I will use my one resource. The Rosetta Thorn. It's going to be one rune chant, two arcane, and two physical. Three arcane total. I'll take five, go to 34. Okay. Um, then I will. Oh. Or deals. Okay. Well, uh, Pick this up to two. Oops. And then pitch for three, and then come in with uh, Alpha Rampage. We'll discard a card at six. So trigger for Intimidate, trigger for Intimidate. We'll go uh, the second one in from the left and second one in from the right. So the two middle ones? Yeah, the two middle ones. I'll banish those out. That's coming in for nine. Correct. That is fortunate. Block for six. Three. Okay. All right, my go. Mm hmm. Okay. Red plunder run for Mark. Okay. And amplify the arc pitching a beta room. So that is coming in for nine. It's drawn. Click on. Yeah, all right. Got you at 25. Offer. Then. I don't go again. Just arc. Take this to three. Make a resource. 
Um, the resource. We'll play Blood Rush Fellow. Oh no! As an as an additional cost, we'll uh, discard a card at random. Uh, we'll go with the one closest to the this guy. Okay, that was an eight attack for two. Wrecked a ramp. That's really good. It's a promo. Um, that resolve. We will draw. There's six or more, you draw two cards. Yep. Yep, there's eight, so we go again. What? No way. And then... Oh, that intimidates, right? That intimidates, yeah. Okay, uh, the leftmost one. Okay. Well... Blood Rush Fellow number two. Oh, Jesus. We'll pitch for that, and we'll pay one, and then we'll discard a card at random. One closer to your graveyard. Okay. It's a seven, so Intimidate Trigger. Okay. The one in the middle. Okay. Um, This is actually at two resources, because it only costs one. Uh, that resolves. Um, you have two cards in hand. I'm gonna draw two, and then let's see. Uh, barraging beat down for zero. It's a red. Um, next brute attack. This turn gets uh gains while. Yep. So the one on the left. Oh, I am gonna show you. Oops. <laughs> and then plus four while this attack is defended by less than two non equipment cards, it gets plus four. Can yeah. go again? Yeah. And then so plus what we'll do is per attack. Yeah. And then we'll pitch. We have five float. And the reason is, is this attack costs three. It, it, it intimidates and it's coming in for seven plus eight. So that's coming in for 15. I have no cards in hand. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm taking 15. Okay, pass. Insane. It is really good. That was nuts. It was a it was a really big turn. All right then. Uh, like that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play. Sorry, the, the way you said it. <laughs> that did not feel good. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna play a Mordred Tide. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna. Play a meet and greet. So this one rune chant I already have come in with it. Because of Viscerai's ability and Mordratide's ability, it'll create two rune chants. Mm -hmm. Then if it hits, create a rune chant, which with Mordratide will actually create two. Um, mm -hmm. That is coming in for two. If you take this rune chant, it gets go again. I'm going to block three. And, and then I uh, take the rest. Um, okay, so first you take you do take the one arcane. Yep. So the meet and greet gets go again. Then um, in the reaction phase, oh, I'm sorry, I needed to pay for that meet and greet. I pitch a blue, so I'm floating two. In the reaction, how many did, how many did I take? Because I was at twenty five. Uh, yeah, I don't know what what you don't. I'll put you on twenty five from the okay. burn champ. Yep. And then in the reaction phase, I'm going to 
A1 to my Spellbound Creepers. So I can play mm -hmm. my next non-attack action. Mm -hmm. And I'll play a Read the Runes, which playing it creates a Rune Chant from Viscerai, which creates two from Mordred Tide. And then yeah. its ability creates three, so Mordred Tide makes it make four. So I now have eight Rune Chants. Um, and then we'll resolve the, the attack from the meet and greet. It does not hit. Uh, it does have go again, though. And I will come in with the Rosetta Thorn. So that is going to be eight rune chants, two arcane from the Rosetta Thorn, and two physical. So 12 total. I'll take 12. Okay. So I need to be able to play my cards. So. All right, and then card. I'm going to use my last resource. I'm really bad about my resources. Today. Stick to one. One for seven, intimidate. The rightmost one. Seven. Has to reaction. Okay. Okay. I'm going to Arsenal and pass. Hard back. Uh, I just got another Mordra tie, so I'm going to play that. Mm hmm. A, a meet and greet, a pang with a blue. Mm -hmm. two. That will create two. Sarai and. Mm -hmm. So it's just coming in for. Block for three. I'm reflex. Seven and take four. You have go again. Uh, and when it hits, it creates a rune chant, and Mordred Tide creates another, so I have four rune chant. Uh, 
Loading. Block two, take six. Okay. okay. Awakening Bellow Yellow, plus two, and um, Intimidate Go again. Um, the second from the right. Okay. And then two float, smash the big tree for seven. So coming in for nine total. Okay, take six and pass. All right, go ahead. Counter. A cheese is broken. Or back. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that card in my arsenal. Event smart. Thing of sorcery. A, a rune flash pitching a blue creating one hand. okay so that is coming in for for physical one arc uh well pay three activate skull caps ability so you do not take the arcane okay and then uh We'll block with um this for three, so three five total, and um we paid for the arcane barrier three, so we take no damage from that. Oh, you're you're using the arcane barrier and you're blocking with the skull cap. Yeah. Okay. So you block that completely. Um, yeah. Then I. In with Rosetta Thorn pitching a red, um, so that is going to be three physical, two, two arcane from here, one arcane from the two physical. Black for three. Uh, I'm dead because I can't I can't pitch for the resource. So. Okay. I'm dead. I'm dead, sir. That was crazy because you came in with that huge turn, and then because of that Mordratide, I had a huge turn the next turn. Yeah, yeah. Um that's that that is what it is. I mean it's like it it it's it's flesh and blood. I mean it's it's like this is to be perfect perfectly real with you, this Pyros set is the most gamblish 
kind of thing. Like it, you don't get away without gambling with this deck. So oh yeah, and so when you bust into like like uh, blood rush bellow, blood rush bellow, alpha rampage, and like when you bust into like thirty damage, thirty thirty points of damage in three turns, it's it's not likely that I'll keep keep that uh going. It's not likely. Yeah. And it's it's not likely that um I'm gonna continue being successful because when I run out of gas I'm gonna have to defend and then that just turns into a different game at at the other side. So Yeah. Oh and I think uh, I got super lucky just drawing the right cards at the right times, you know. I do. I do, and that's just it. It's it's just getting lucky at the right times too. Like we we saw, we put this together a bit, but it uh, you can't stay on an infinite run. That's for sure. I think um, second. the these spellbound creepers are huge. Well, yeah, yeah, they're they're they're. I mean, you play something as an instant, and then you have to keep rolling. So if you can keep doing arcane damage, that's awesome, great. But if you can't, if you can't, well, there it is. You know. Yeah. Well, in that turn that I came in, I was able to create those eight rune chants. It was only because I had the spellbound creepers. Right. Yeah, having those those legendaries makes a big difference. I'm not sold on the Rosetta Thorn in this deck. I'm um, not either. But it punches through two damage every turn though. Yeah, I mean getting that that physical and arcane mix there is cool. However, um the other weapon I was using in this list was Nebula Blade, which is more <laughs> expensive to swing with. However, it threatens creating a rune chant. And it can be really handy to hit with the nebula blade and get a rune chant and then be able to um, you know, play a reduced to rune chant for free or something like that. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, that was a fun game. Thanks for the game, man, and uh anybody uh checking out our gameplay. Yeah, thank you for watching. Enjoy the enjoy the games, enjoy the next one.